Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump has huge new surprise at the border for unsuspecting illegals crossing over. We have all seen how in the past few weeks Mexico has elected a leftist president who actually ran on the idea that it's a so-called human right to disrespect the sovereignty of the United States of America by breaking into our nation illegally and flooding our nation in an invasion that would be a clear act of war against the U.S. by Mexico. Here is more about the Mexican president candidate. Just wow! This sounds like fighting words to me. A presidential candidate in Mexico named Andres Manuel López Obrador AMLO is calling on his fellow countrymen to flood the United States with a mass exodus, calling it a human right. No, that's called an invasion and is an act of war. According to a report from Il Universal, he said that people should flee Mexico to find a life in the United States. He's not much of a presidential candidate for Mexico if you ask me. He's asking his constituency to flee to another country. And soon, very soon, after the victory of our movement, we will defend all the migrants in the American continent and all the migrants in the world. Obrador said on Tuesday while calling on people to leave their towns and find a life in the United States. Obrador says that fleeing to the United States is a human right we will defend. That's open borders, one world government posturing. It is straight up totalitarianism. The election in Mexico is less than two weeks away and this guy is currently the frontrunner if you can believe it. Sadly, I can. He sounds just like the radical group La Raza, who wants to take back parts of the U.S. from Mexico. Flooding America with immigrants is seen as one way to do that. Open borders advocates on the left see policing the border as a form of cruelty and American imperialism and are pushing this type of move. Those in Mexico are uber nationalists and want what they see as land owed them given back from the U.S. It's never going to happen and they are heading for a fight with us. Obrador has run on a ticket opposing President Trump's policies toward Mexico. He is calling for a fourth revolution. He openly wants war with us. Mexico is consumed with violence by cartel gangs and corruption by their leaders. There are two classes in Mexico. The very wealthy and the very poor. Since there is no strong economic foundation in Mexico, Obrador sees an invasion of the U.S. as a good way to break down financial barriers and to get the wealth of the U.S. to flow into Mexico. He is using the Cloward and Piven model to overwhelm the U.S. Within Obrador's conceived economic plan, he envisions the U.S. training, educating, employing and eventually paying for a growing standard of living for Mexico. It is a very quick way for Mexico to obtain wealth, as opposed to the long process of building out an entire societal system of education, investment, infrastructure, and commerce. Overwhelming numbers of Mexicans could also turn politics upside down here in the U.S. and with their vast numbers, they could control who is in power. And it sure wouldn't be conservatives. President Donald Trump has a different idea though. The newly elected president of Mexico can call for an invasion all he wants, but President Trump has already made it very clear that the U.S. will not be putting up with such an act of war. And that anyone entering the states will just simply be turned around to head back to their nation of origin. It's sad to see how even the Mexican people and their new president are so anti-Mexico that they don't even want their own people staying there. Of course, they don't. Mexicans come here and they send money back to their family, which is great for the Mexican economy. And no. That money they make here is not taxed as so many on the left try to tell us when they try to sell us on the fake narrative that illegal workers do the work Americans don't want to do. So you see, for Mexico, the illegal aliens who come into the U.S. are in a way a business and a very lucrative one. Especially since Mexico is a cesspool of corruption and crime now. A cesspool which their own countrymen don't want to even fight for anymore, but they come here and wave the Mexican flag as they force us American taxpayers to pay for their health care food stamps, and children's education, while we have American-born children living in tent cities in cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.